I didn't always study biological molecules, and I think I was guided in that direction because I wanted to do something that could have a real tangible impact in people's lives. We study how uh, small molecules can bind to proteins in the body. And these could be molecules like hormones or metabolites, but we're principally interested in how uh, pharmaceutical drugs bind to their protein targets and how we can use this information to design the next generation of drug molecules. Biological molecules like proteins are in constant motion and this motion affects how molecules can bind to these proteins. So we use computer simulation to show us in atomic detail both the motions of the proteins and the binding of drugs to their receptors. This is a challenge because the simulations we use take extremely small time steps. If we wanted to run a simulation for even just a millionth of a second, we would still need a billion time steps which is a lot of work for the computer to do. So one of our chief focuses in the lab is developing uh, new computational methods that can allow us to study these long time scale events uh, using only microsecond scale simulations. Advances on the hardware side have really changed the game in the field, and GPU computing in particular. So everyone now is, is trying to not only do the same work faster, but even just reimagine what molecular simulation is capable of. It's kind of like we're all running a race and somebody comes around handing out rocket boots to everybody <laughs> and then they're trying to figure out how to use them and, uh, and, you know, and what they're capable of. So uh, it's a really exciting time for the field. As a computational scientist, my lab equipment is high performance computing hardware. So having access to ICER and to HPCC, the High Performance Computing Center, is a really valuable resource for me because now I don't have to spend time building and managing that hardware, and that's time that I can spend you know, uh, training my graduate students and postdocs, uh, getting science done and writing papers and writing grants. So it's a really great resource.